Hello, Veteran Owen Twin here, welcome back, and this is another episode of Final Fantasy VI. In the previous episode, we saved Realm from the burning building, and uh, Shadow went off on his own. So now it's just Terra Lock and Strago trying to find these espers. So that's all we're gonna do. Head to the west here. And we're gonna fight Chimera. And I'm pretty sure that Aqua Breath does not do anything to this guy. I don't know what he's weak to. I can't remember. I know he's probably absorbed something. I think it's water that he absorbs. And holy crap, now he's throwing fireballs at us. Yeah, oh, okay, that could have been a lot worse. Uh, so I'll try fire this time. Alright, Terra learned from Dara. It's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, what am I gonna give her now? I will give you. Well, you're gonna be gaining a level pretty soon, I think, so... Yeah, I'll just give her that. For now. Welcome to a mountain. I'm not really sure, I can't remember what the name of this mountain is, but... It is a mountain. Alright, we have a new enemy here. We have Adam and Carey. Uh, these guys like to sneeze when you physically attack them. I'm surprised he didn't sneeze there. I said that's what they like to do. Maybe I'll try and steal another golden shield from this guy. And it worked. But yeah, I kind of want Locke to get uh, ejected from the battle that way. He can... Uh, well, that way he can uh, not get experience for this battle. Because, other than magic, I would rather raise Terra's strength right now, actually. So yeah, now she'll probably gain a level on the next one, so... Goodbye, Zoner Seeker. Hello, Bismarck. And then, uh, yeah, I just won't set his right yet. Here, we get a healing rod. I guess I could equip this on Strago. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet, though. As you can see, uh, it has good attack power, uh, but what it does is when it actually taps somebody, it will heal them. So, I don't know. It's pretty good. I might use it later. Yeah, these guys are easy. Just throw some, uh, some fear spells at them. And they should die. Unless, of course, that character that's going to cast a spell gets berserked. here. So that was just a big waste of time. Oh well. Yeah, these guys just throw fire at them. They're weak to fire. They don't like fire. Don't bother with physical attacks. They don't do anything. Terra gained a level with Bismarck. Now it's time to switch that back over to Lock. So we can get a strength plus two. Alright. 
still working on Ifrit, huh? Oh, the drain spell? Pfft, I don't even care about that, man. Here, have Zona Seeker. That way I don't have to worry about you. Yeah, Strago, you want to raise his magic. And wait a minute. I just saw a little girl. That kind of looked like Realm. care about these guys. Yeah, there's an enemy on this uh, on this mountain somewhere that um, I can teach you a new lore or blue magic. And they keep giving me these guys. I don't want to fight these guys. How about giving me an enemy that I want to fight? Would that be okay with you? These guys are... There's nothing special about them. I don't want to fight them. But yeah, you can only encounter this particular enemy I'm trying to find outside, so I kind of want to encounter him, like, now. Come on. Now I can't get attacked. Because the game decides they want to be generous with the encounter. This... this <sighs> Fuck it. I'll just get it later. No, do not berserk us. He wants to be fucking retarded and not give me the enemy I want. Okay, from here we want to go over this way and holy crap! Um, yeah, I think we saw you. Hmm. Interesting. What is this? What is this warring triad? Really? So, who created the humans? Like yeah, we're we're tired of being gods, so let's just turn ourselves to stone. <laughs> what kind of stupid crap is that? Whatever. Yeah, they could. I like how Rome is just kind of hanging out over there. Reverence toward the gods were these statues made, and in prayer that their power would ne'er again be stirred. Let them serve as a warning to future generations of the three gods who once descended from the heavens. Alright. Let's go. What the fuck? Oh man, you're like jumping on his head. It's like gross. Really? want respect from Siegfried? You know, it's funny, because I don't think I've ever seen Siegfried and Ultras like, as pals or buddy-buddy in this game at all. And why the hell would you want freaking respect from Siegfried anyways? He's a wuss. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna fight Ultras again. And he's weak to fire. So just throw fire spells at him. And he'll love it. And he can steal white cape. Which is pretty nice, so definitely steal it if you can. And I'm gonna keep tossing fire spells his way. I believe he's also weak to lightning. But I like using fire. Don't do that. Yeah, that stone he just threw at us was a stone that can confuse you if it hits you. Oh, 
Oh, what are you doing? Can't do that. I know what you're thinking. Man, that was... Yeah, I was! I was. I was thinking exactly that. Bosses shouldn't be able to do that. Alters his body combination? Oh. Okay, well that's it, huh? What are you doing here, Realm? Yeah, obviously. We kind of, like, saw you before. You weren't being you weren't being very uh good at keeping yourself hidden. Uh what? What the hell? We're trying to fight an octopus here. How dare you ask me my name? As if anyone wouldn't already know the great Ultros. A pint-sized virtuoso and an egotistical octopus. Do I even wanna know what's next? So yeah, nice fourth wall joke here, because uh, Locke is looking at us, and he's talking to us, yeah. So yeah, I like how they break the fourth wall here. It's pretty nice. What? You want to draw his picture? And I like, yeah, I love how she calls him Uncle Ulti. I don't want a stinking portrait. I didn't want to draw your picture anyway. It's okay, I'll just jump off this ledge. Then everyone will be happy. <laughs> I can't believe they actually fell for it. <laughs> and then now Tara's playing along with it. I'm... I mean... I don't... Well, jeez, what do you want me to do? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, you are kind of an ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, alright, Uncle Ulti really, really wants you to draw his picture. Wow. At any rate, get over here. Okay. So, what we're gonna do now is... Holy crap. What we're gonna do is, uh... Get blasted with some fire spells and Realm is gonna... Paint ulti. I'm just a washed up old octopus! That's right. That's what you are. No, she's actually pretty damn good. I think we should bring her along. Alright, so Realm is now in our party, and, well, she's a few lo levels lower than what Terra and Locke are, I guess. And, uh, yeah, for some reason when Strago joins your party, he's always, like, two levels ahead of... Terra and lock. I don't know why that is. That's just the way they did it. Anyways, we need to heal up because I got, took a cheap shot, like a Faraga spell from Ultras there. And as far as Realm and her Esper, I think I want to start her on Ifrit for sure so she can start, you know, learning fire spells as quick as possible. Oh, look at that. I'll be right back. You know, up to this point in the game, I haven't actually showed off using a tent. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, yeah, right here. And yeah, the tents will be like different designs based on which character's in the lead, I think. Which is kinda cool. Yeah, first we wanna take this, uh, this hole over here. Now we're gonna fight more of these guys. Let's see if I can steal another golden shield.
Yeah, these guys... It takes about two spells to take them out. If your magic power is built up enough, though, you can you can one-shot them. Alright, and in this chest we get an X-Potion. Yay. I like X-Potions. Uh, yeah, then we just want to jump down and go this way again. So yeah, we end up back in this room, and all we gotta do, do now is just go back where we were. And now I believe we want to take the uh, the top path. I think it's the top path next. Hopefully I'm right. Yeah, yeah, okay, perfect. Alright, there's a chest out here. And it has a chocobo suit. Who can equip this? I think, I think Realm can equip this as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it to her. I guess it'll help. Oh, yeah. Another thing I forgot to mention with Realm's equipment. Uh, she actually comes a initially equipped with uh, a Memento Ring. So, you got one for her and one for Shadow. So, yeah, that second one you find in the, uh, what is it? In, uh, in Tomasa. That one's, so both characters have one. But, yeah, Realm already comes with one, which is really nice. Oh, come on, game. Really? Are you going to give me the enemy I want? No? Well, then screw you then. I don't want to fight these guys. Yeah. <laughs> give me a break. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, in this chest we get a tabby suit, which is, uh... I don't know if... Can Strago equip this one? Yeah. Yeah, it's a suit that negates poison damage. I guess that's okay. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I really care about these Chogobo suits and Tabby suits and stuff. But there you go. So, once I make it back to the save point again, I'll probably just use another tent just for the hell of it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the treasure in this place you can get. And, uh, yeah, we'll want to take the, uh, the bottom hole, uh, to get to where we need to go. But, I'll be doing that in the next episode. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.